Welcome to Cheesing It Up. Today we have another Swiss cheese, Gruyere. Stay tuned. Gruyere cheese originated in Switzerland in the 1100s in Freiburg, which is part of the Gruyere district, hence how the cheese got its famous name. Now, Gruyere cheese is made very similarly to your traditional Alpine cheeses. It's made with a cow's milk and then made in a copper cauldron, drained and pressed into wheels. And then from there, it's relocated to room temperature storage, brined with salt water and bacteria, and it's left to age for five months to two years. Now, like most cheeses, the longer the cheese is aged, the sharper and more nutty the taste. This cheese we have here is from Trader Joe's at around $11 per pound. We consider it to be a younger cheese because it's aged just six months, and because of that, we anticipate it will be more of a mild taste associated with it. It is also a semi-hard cheese. However, it is very, very good for melting because of the low acidic levels. And because of that, it tends to be the cheese of choice to put on top of your French onion soup crock. Let's go ahead, let's give it a try. Yeah, here you go, here's your piece. And now mommy's piece. You want mommy to have a piece too? Okay. You let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? I like the part of it. You like the part of it? Okay. What do you think of the taste? <laughs> Does this cheese get your re your recommendation? Oh. Try it again. Let's see what you think the second time you have it. Let's see. What do you think about it the second time? The first time. You really, really hated it. But I believe it's always important to give all these cheeses at least a second bite. I hate this part. You hate the hard part? Mm-hmm. You don't like the wash rind? Mm-mm. Okay. So it's definitely not as strong as Emmental mm. or what a lot of people know it as Swiss cheese. You definitely don't pick up some of those stronger Swiss properties. Definitely more of a mild cheese. I a little want bit another of a, one. You want more now? I can't believe this. This is a total change in thought process. Did your taste buds change? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. We'll try more. Overall, this is a very mild cheese, oh. not nearly as sharp as your traditional cheddar cheeses. Also doesn't carry some of the strong nuttiness of your traditional Swiss cheeses, although it does carry a very, very slight nuttiness. Not very salty either. Overall, a very, very mild tasting cheese. So if you're somebody that does not like full bodied cheeses or those that carry quite a bit of potentness, this is probably one you're gonna like. And until next time. Yeah. Alright, keep cheesing it up. Welcome to Cheesing It Up. On this episode, what do we have today? I don't know what to wear. It is not a strong recommendation for the little guy today. <laughs> Hey, all over the place. <laughs> I don't like them. You don't like it? Ew. Ew? Okay. I'm taking mommy a piece. Overall, if you are somebody that likes a little bit of cheese but doesn't like very fully defined flavors that are full bodied, mm. overall, you're going to like this cheese. <laughs> Oh my god, you're crying me up today. You hated the cheese before, now like it's you can't get enough of it. I mean I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs>